will receive it. As Alex Barbier set to kick it away. Puts his right foot into it. Going to be taken a couple yards deep. Bayou's going to bring it out. Liberty was great on kickoff coverage last week. Not this time. Getting loose on the move. He could take it the distance. That's Lexington Joseph to the house. What a way to start the 2020 campaign for the Panthers. We'll start with the four wide receiver set. Willis hits DJ Stubbs. He's got some room to run. Shakes a man down the sideline and pushed out of bounds right around midfield. Well, on the 36 of the Panthers. Willis pulls it out, spins away from the rush, can't get away from that, taken down in the backfield. That's Strickland that got to him. Top, high. Willis trying to sit in that pocket, now has some room, moving, throwing across his body, and the catch is made for the first down. DJ Stubbs going up in traffic and hauling it in. That soft spot in the zone, and come down with a big third down reception. Flames going fast, throw to the end zone! for the signal, caught, touchdown Noah Frith! Malik Willis laying it out there for Frith. Delivers a beautiful pass right over the outside shoulder with against Western Carol uh, against Western Kentucky. Willis gonna keep it, breaks outside, trying to make one more cut, makes a man miss, finally hit and dropped at the 41. Hands a picket, has some room. And he's going to be close to a Flames first down. And he does have it. And one for the Flames. Hand off to Pickett. He will get that first down. So the Flames will have first and goal from the five. The pitch this time. Pickett trying to get the corner. Cuts it up and he's in. Peyton Pickett finds pay dirt. The Flames go on top. You got to give some time to develop a rhythm. You don't want to yank a guy after a one three and out. Easy throw and catch. That completion to J.J. Holloman. And this is a kid as he's still fighting and finally held up. And off once again, up the middle. First down yardage as Price lowers the shoulder. Wharton Slager in the shotgun. And off running left, cutting back with room to run. Look out, Price gets free, and he takes it the distance. 30-yard touchdown scamper for Devontae Price. Throw caught by Stubbs. Makes a man miss, turns it upfield, and he has the first down. I'm looking for, and he ended up finding his way here to Lynchburg. The Flames sure glad he did. Willis going to tuck it now, try to run. Has some room, looking for a block. Oh, mama! Big block by Johnny Huntley. Over the top. Gonna look to throw it here, running out of time. Shakes off one man, shakes off another. Look out, fires caught by Stubbs. Oh! They are breaking it all out on that play. The elusiveness first from Willis, then Stubbs. DJ Stubbs finds that hole. That's really good execution by the Flames offense. Stubbs has played well so far today. Five catches, 65 yards. Now Josh Mack has some room to rumble. Across the 25, across the 20, down to the 15. Big third down opportunity here. Willis going under center. They pitch the stops. He can throw it. Looking for the throwback to his quarterback. It's not there. In trouble and dropped. They snuffed that out and were able to make the play in the backfield. That's Alexi Jean Baptiste. Who attempt by Alex Barbier. It is up and no good. We're going to see a quarterback in the second half, and he said, me. So, uh, <laughs> good luck to FIU. Well, That's maybe he might be able to throw for 16 yards. I don't know. Handoff goes to Josh Mack as he gets up to around the 35. What Hugh Freeze, he has found success today. Averaging 10 yards a pop. Willis pulls it out, fires, has it made. DJ Stubbs cuts it up, gets to the outside. Crosses the 40, stutter step again, still on his feet, and finally steps out of bounds at about the 29 as a late flag comes in. You got to kick the field now. Willis going to sling it. Led his receiver Douglas a little too far. He had him. Couldn't quite connect, if you couldn't yeah. tell. That's a, look at these, he sleeves tight. That's a sun's out, gun's out, baby. Good kick. Up and through. And 
So the Flames go on top. They manage to get three points out of that drive in backfield. He went for 75 yards on the ground the first half. Norton breaks one tackle, won't break the second. Hit and dropped, and that was the second sack of the day for Jarrell Johnson. Defense. Norton stands in the pocket. Now wrapped up and dropped. That Flames defensive line getting to him, and that was Trey Sean Clark. Willis has time, stands in the pocket, fires, connects. Catch made by Shaw, makes one man miss, tries to get loose and is drugged down by Richard Dames. Jedro Lewis still in there at the running back spot. Malik rolls, fires, connects. That's Shaw, made the first man miss. And having the ball up on the inside in the run game, it's very well balanced. Looking to pass here, throwing towards the end zone. The catch is... Are you kidding? What a grab. DJ Stubbs, their best man-to-man -man route runner. Oh, able to get stretch that hand out there. And did he get it, Let's secure it. it? No doubt. And it's Stone Norton still in there at the quarterback position for FIU. Did not see him at all in the first half. He's gotten the first two series here, and he connects with Holloman on the reception, and that will be good for an FIU first down. Sitting in the pocket, throwing the ball. And off Price. Got an angle. Side to the sideline. And he is still in bounds. Somehow he stayed in, and he's taking it all the way to the house. How did he tighten the, the sideline and stay in bounds? Unbelievable. Once again, big third down, both sides of the ball. Willis has time, stands tall, fires, caught by Frith, breaks one tackle, and gets to the 45 of FIU. Time and time again on third down. Sticks it right in there, first down. Nate Pickett on the carry, and he's got some room. And then it just disappeared really quickly. <laughs> Mounts. 11 of them now on FIU. They're going to roll the pocket here. Willis, sidearm, slings it, caught by Shaw, makes a man miss and is bumped out of bounds inside the 15, and a late flag comes in. We may have a late hit on the quarterback here. Willis under center here. Fakes the pitch, rolling right. Looking, sidearm throw. Swinging it a little wide, looking for the freshman C.J. Daniels. Thank you. So Barbier comes in for the chip shot field goal. Up and through, and the Flames knocking on the door, but couldn't get the touchdown. You call that a win for the FIU defense. Absolutely. Throws across his body and connects. Big time third down conversion to his tight end, Sterling Palmer. Horton. They give it to him. Angling far side, stiff arm. Able to pick up about five. Tough running for Sean Peterson Jr. To take a lead in this ball game if they can find the end zone. Norton stands in, delivers one deep down the middle of the field. He's got a man. Touchdown. Bryce Singleton gets behind the Flames defense and Norton with a picture-perfect ball right to him. They give it to Mack, he breaks through the line and he's got some room to rumble across midfield, across the 30 and he's pushed out of bounds about there. So four yards on the ground. Willis pulls it out. Fires to Shaw, was he able to corral it? And it appears so. Gulf State, <laughs> Saturday kickoff. Liberty FIU, Malik Willis gonna keep it, picking his way through the defense and gets down to about the six yard line. And the toss sweep off him, here comes the toss. Josh Mack cuts it up and breaks the plane he's in. So Josh Mack converted on the fourth and one, and then they get on the doorstep of the end zone and they ride their lead back for the touchdown. In the middle, they're bringing pressure, linebackers coming, Willis trying to escape, running for his life, able to turn the corner, looking for a block, cuts it up, stays on his feet! Are you kidding? It's a foot race! Down the near sideline, and Willis finally dropped down inside the 15! How on earth did he keep his feet? Sometimes, Matt, every once in a while, you just gotta go back to the old schoolyard figure out a way to make a play on sheer athleticism and that's exactly what Malik Willis oh my all right they're going for it. they're gonna throw the ball 
Willis looking, standing in the pocket. Now it's breaking down. He's flushed out. Tries to make a man miss. Stiff arm, and now he's surrounded and dropped. Attempting a short field goal. Up and through, and the Flames able to push the lead. Especially when you have great hair flow like Stone Norton. No doubt. Kick taken. Joseph has it inside the five. Already has one return touchdown today. He's springing it again. Coming near sideline. The foot race is on as he crosses midfield. And he's pushed out of bounds right around the Flames 33-yard line. It's a lot about throws and grips and extensions. And you fight your opponent the way you move, which is very similar on the defensive line. Great catch down the field. The throw up top where only his receiver could get it. Seven of ten. Throwing the football. He's got his running back wide open. And he connects. Boy, you saw it the entire way. Devontae Price sneaking out of the backfield. He was all by his lonesome. Time in the pocket. Now just threw it away. He's trying to point out there's a receiver in the area. There was no receiver in the area. I think they may get him for intentional grounding the officials here. are going to talk about it. Darrell Johnson, Treshawn Clark pin their ears back. Here comes Johnson. Jayon Sanders in there as it wrapped up. Dropped. And the Flames defense gets the job done. 